Hello, everyone. In this presentation, we're going to walk through how to automate a business process that leverages a machine learning model. This use case was brought to us by a customer who wanted to automate their loan approval process. They wanted to leverage machine learning models to determine the risk associated with granting a loan and also incorporate human judgment for exception scenarios. The solution that we are presenting today was built using Informatica's IDMC platform. We're basically leveraging cloud application integration, model serve, and human task services of our IDMC platform. Let's look at the business flow. We have requests typically coming in from a web UI through an API call. In this case, we have exposed a composite API using our cloud application integration service. We then apply business rules like validating the application, employment verification, running a credit check. Once the credit check is complete, we send this information to a machine learning model that was operationalized using our model serve, which basically returns the risk associated with approving this loan. If the risk is high, we mark it for a manual review. And if the loan is approved upon the review, we then send documents for signing using DocuSign. All right, so let's look at the process design for the business flow that we just described earlier. So you can see here, we've exposed a composite API using our cloud application integration service. Uh, we expose both REST and SOAP endpoints for every process that you define. We are performing the initial verification uh, of this information. We are then sending an email uh, for successful application submission. We are validating their employment. We are then running a credit check. We are then sending this information to a machine learning model, which determines the risk. If the risk is low, then we are approving the loan and we are sending an email uh, saying the same. And we're also sending documents to DocuSign for signatures. If the risk level is high, we are then sending an email to applicant saying that the loan is marked for a manual review. And we then have a human task here, uh, which basically means that we are waiting for human judgment on this loan. And if the manual review returns uh, results in a approved, then we're basically sending an email saying that the loan is approved and the documents are sent for signatures using DocuSign. Otherwise, we are going to reject this loan. So that's the process design at a very high level. And this process, like I said, is exposed as a composite API. So let's actually look at the architecture for model serve. First, we start off by building and training the machine learning model using a third party framework like TensorFlow. We then register the model on model serve by uploading the model artifacts as a zip file. And then we deploy the model by defining the inputs and outputs of the model. The model is then deployed on a serverless Kubernetes cluster available as an API. All right, you can see our model serve service here. Um, you can see I have a couple of machine learning models that have been built and one of them has actually been deployed. And this is the model that we are going to basically call to determine the risk associated with a specific loan. So you can see here, uh, this is determine the, determining the risk associated with this loan and it's exposed as an API, which we're going to invoke. All right, so now that we have seen the actual process design, and how we have deployed the model, let's actually go ahead and send a request to this process for processing a loan. Right, so we are going to simulate the web UI portion of this. Um, so we are actually sending a JSON request where we have information regarding the applicant, his employment information, uh, his personal information, his SSN, which is encrypted, and the actual loan amount that he is requesting. Uh, you can see that this request is being sent uh, to a cloud application integration process through uh, our API gateway. Let me send that request. Uh, 
All right, so we got a response back uh, saying that uh, this is my unique ID generated for this loan. And we have a message from the uh, business process saying that the loan is being reviewed and an email will be sent upon the review. So let's actually go ahead and look at what happened behind the scenes. So if I were to go to our monitoring service, I can see that there was a request received uh, for this particular applicant. And uh, the business process then went ahead and validated the application. It validated the employment. It ran a credit check and it sent this information to ModelServe uh, through the API that we just saw. Uh, so we can basically look at what the response was from ModelServe. Uh, so you can see here, these were these uh, activities successfully completed. ModelServe itself returned the risk as high. So now it's flagged for uh, a manual review. And as part of this, an email was sent to the reviewer. So you can see here, um, we got an email uh, and this is basically the loan reviewer. So I can click on this and it's basically saying that I need to review this loan. And this is the human task service um, that was incorporated for this particular business flow so that we can have human judgment as part of it. So you can see the loan amount that was requested, the risk level that was sent back from the machine learning model um, and other information based on the credit check. So I'm going to claim this task. And I'm going to start working on it. And I'm going to say, okay, this particular uh, loan has been approved. And obviously we can send as much information as we want to this particular task so that uh, whoever is reviewing this has all the information that they need to make a decision. All right, so I'm going to say, I'm going to approve this loan, right? So if I go back to my process, I should see that the manual review is completed. And now documents have been sent per signature from the applicant. I've also received a document from DocuSign. Uh, this is the loan uh, borrower. Um, so he needs to review this document and, he, and then he needs to sign the document. And at that point of time, the business process is complete. All right, so the applicant has now finished signing the documents. And then at this point of time, DocuSign is going to send a notification to Informatica business process saying that the entire business process is now complete. You can now see that after the manual review was completed, uh, we uploaded the documents to DocuSign for signatures. The applicant received an email, the applicant signed the document, and then we received a notification back from DocuSign saying that the documents were signed and the entire business process is now complete. Just to recap, what we did here was we exposed a composite API, which essentially processes loans. We are leveraging machine learning models to determine the risk associated with granting this loan. And we are also incorporating human judgment into the flow in exception scenarios. All right, so to conclude by combining machine learning models with human workflow, businesses can achieve greater efficiency, accuracy, and scalability while still benefiting from the human touch and expertise when necessary. Thank you so much.